Guys, the sun is setting, but I couldn't resist. I got a club from my friends at Kaylee Golf, and I want to give this a try. It's actually a utility iron. Nice lambkin grip on it. UST recoil shaft. Graphite. Not necessarily for me because I have a little slower swing speed, but let's see if it works. It actually might be a good club for me, possibly off a tee. Okay, guys, so I've got 285 to that flag from here. I just want to be able to gauge how far I carry these. It's pretty much all carry because it's super wet out there. Grip is nice. That's a nice feel. Is this a club I could use off the tee? Possibly. Teed it pretty low, had no problem getting it airborne. Nice feel off the face. She felt kind of soft. Flange looks like it could provide some help being nice and a little thicker there, but nothing too obtrusive you look down on it doesn't look really thick but I'm sure it provides a little a little relief because these balls are flying nice and high caught that one off the toe still right side of the fairway say we need to hit a little draw let's see if we can draw this. I kind of hit those off the toe. That one kind of started right, stayed on that same line. A club that just wants to go straight isn't too bad though. Let's try again. Maybe this club just wants to go straight. We're going to try to hit the biggest hook I could possibly hit. And it was kind of a eight yard draw. A couple things, I'm at the longest ball here, 86 yards. So this one was 199. I looked at the carry and it carried about eight yards back there. So 191. The shortest ball carry, 177. So they all carry between 177 and 191. And the other thing about this test is all six balls were in the fairway. Three of them were right in the middle of the fairway. And they didn't even threaten the rough. And this is a pretty small fairway. Matter of fact, this fairway is 29 yards wide. And these balls were at least seven yards in from each side. So I hit all six balls in a 15 yard wide area. I don't think for me it would be a club that I would play off the ground, but good lie in the fairway. Let's just give it a try. 165 into a pretty stiff wind. Let's just see what the results are like. That Looked like it went a little right, but it felt really, really good off of the club face. This face feels good. There's no doubt about that. Normally when a ball feels that good, it's a good shot, but <laughs> I can't see it anymore. That one didn't feel quite as good, but it was going on a line to the right of the flag. Not by much. Quite a bit of trouble turning this club over which might be a good thing. That felt good. Wow. This thing feels so good. I want to hit one more ball. I mean, I'm giving myself a decent line of fairway, but I still didn't expect to be able to hit it off the fairway this easily. Just getting better. All right, last one, I promise. Wow, guys, that's good. It didn't release very much. It was into the wind, and both of these two balls are only 20 feet right of the flag, 
just short of pin high. This ball is also directly left of the flag, directly pin high, 30 feet left, final two balls. This ball, four feet from the hole, released maybe 15, 20 feet. The last one here past the pin, I believe is the last one that I hit. And that one rolled out 15 feet or so. It's wet, but the greens are firming up a little bit. A little more than a quarter inch shorter than my four hybrid. Now this utility iron has 18 degrees of loft. My four hybrid has 22. The descent angle, the launch angle, these are gonna be the determining factors going into a green, but off a tee, I believe this club might do the trick. Two hundred two yards. Got it set on total. Okay, so that four hybrid, one hundred eighty-three carry, launched at fifteen point seven. One hundred seventy-seven yards. Okay, so that launched at fourteen point three. One hundred seventy-four yards. Okay, so fourteen point one there. So a little lower than the last four hybrid. 180 yards. And we cut that one pretty badly, but the launch went up to about 14.3, but that's kind of because the face was open and it was a pretty big cut there. 168 yards. Launch on that one was 13.7. The spin rate on this utility iron is going to be a lot less than it's going to be on this four hybrid. So that's the other thing that's going to help this club stop faster on the green than this club. At slower swing speeds, this is more of a driving iron. And if you like irons, it can really be the way to go. And if you're trying to hit and hold a green, then you're going to need more four hybrids and you're going to need more law unless you have very high club speed. So guys, I hit two four hybrids that both ended up on the left side of the fairway and I hit three, three utilities. The one I've blocked out to the right and the other two were kind of right side of the fairway. And I will tell you, if I had room in the bag to have a club that just didn't want to go left, I would definitely consider this three utility. I haven't quite discounted that out of the plans yet. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you some insight that might help you with your game or what you should have in your bag. I'm still putting my 2024 bag together, believe it or not, and I'll take you guys along every step of the way. If you missed my last 2v2 match that had a pretty exciting finish, click the video to my right. And if you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Mr. Shore Hitter. Out. Welcome to my channel, I'm Mr. Short Hitter. You can be short up the key and still be a winner.